Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Career Mode here today for the Japanese Grand Prix and part 11 of this career mode. We come in to Suzuka for hopefully a much smoother weekend than it turned out to be last time out in Singapore. Very chaotic race there. As we come into qualifying then, through the final chicane, up to the line now. The first lap was quite poor and it's only good enough then for 18th, we need to improve on that. As we do carry on um, on the same set of tyres and we've found it just over a tenth that we had a little moment out of the final chicane and lose all of that and we go and move up one place into P17. But as we go into the end of qualifying then, you can see the amount of time we've found nearly eight tenths of a second into the final chicane now we're hoping that this will get us further up the grid we round the final corner then that has put us p7 on the grid Welcome along then to the magnificent Suzuka International Circuit, a stone's throw away from Issei Bay in the beautiful Japanese countryside. What surprises lie in wait for us today with the Japanese Grand Prix? So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Sainz, Perez, Leclerc, Brown, Norris, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Joe, Sonoda, Fittipaldi, Albert, Stroll, Gasly, Sergeant, Gasly. Lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So then we're here on the grid. We're not turning down a soft and medium strategy. Then hopefully we can go forward, there are much faster cars around us though and just hoping this turns into a better result for us after what happened in Singapore and also what happened in Monza as well the race before, need to get this season up and running again so let's see what we can do from P7 as we all line up on the grid now and the grid is set the five red lights come on they go out and we are racing and we've got a good start then we're side by side with the ferrari and we've nearly got the red bull of paris into turn one we go try to get it around the outside but we run a little bit wide and then you have to do a little correction of oversteer to avoid going into the back of charles leclerc so after a good original start we haven't really gone anywhere and on to the end of Black 3, we pulled away from the Alpine of Wacom behind and we are right on the back of the Ferrari of Leclerc. We thought about it up the inside but we're just a little bit too far back for now. And unfortunately we did, but then we had an early pace on the Ferrari, didn't turn out to be so we were just on our own. This is Leclerc now on the back of Perez, out of the chicane, and he's spun around, and we've had to take avoiding action to try not to hit him. And everyone's, there's a massive pile up as everyone runs into the back after the McLaren anchors up to avoid the Ferrari. Big incident there. It has brought out the first safety car of the day. What? Is Leclerc doing there then? Spins it round. Here are all the front runners boxing. We though are going to stay out because I thought lap six way too early to pit and I really didn't want to go on the hard tyres and the hard tyres surely aren't going to last that long. But as you can see on the timing tower, Hamilton and Verstappen, who were P1 and P2 
I believe. This one is a pit. Under the safety car, once everyone had bunched up. No logic there. God knows what Mercedes and Red Bull are thinking. We've already seen questionable Mercedes strategies this season. But we get a great launch. Off for the restart. We're going to go to the inside. Bird Sides keeps it pinned round the outside. And just couldn't get up the inside of the game. Just made you anchor up. Slam on the brakes if you try and go to the inside. We have a little wobble though. Behind us is Fernando Alonso. As we run wide, we run wide. Fernando tries to go up our inside. There's contact with through the other gravel trap. We've nearly dropped it. And he's spun it around. Alonso has been absolutely mugged because of us. Because our little spin going from up and from one gravel trap to the other. As he made just like contact with us as we are out of control. And he's lost some few places. Leclerc now is having to find his way back through after his earlier incident. And it is all kicking off. This is Albon now on the back of us trying to overtake us. Albon's one out then during the stops in the safety car. But we keep him behind and hopefully we can pull away. As now then, we skimp on a very long way into this race because we pulled away and behind George had caught us and so had the Red Bull after there to stop in under the safety car. We keep him behind though for a little while but George now is past us and ahead. Our P2 felt very nice for a while but it was never going to last was it? And now Perez, after getting his way through those slower cars behind us, is going to be on the back of us now. You can see the state of the tyres because I tried it with the strategy. The field was so bunched up going on when our original pit window opened. So for me, the only option was to carry on. That was the only thing we could do was to stay out as long as possible because we would have lost so much time as Paris tried to get past us if we boxed when we meant to so we just had to keep going you can see now as we box at the end of lap 16 how bad these tyres were but we made them last we're going to do some overtaking but not as much as we possibly could have had to if we boxed earlier and we're just going to beat out the Red Bull of Perez there a bit questionable, maybe a bit of an unsafe release but we'll take it, we're still ahead as then we go around the first corner and now as we head up towards 1.30 our we're side by side with Bottas down the inside of Bottas these I think are trying to keep it going from the very start of the race after the safety car when they all boxed so these their tyres are dead we're also past Gasly as Gasly boxes so it's two stopping by the looks of things as now Perez is on the back of Bottas and he is through on the Alfa Romeo and now look who's ahead of us Hamilton He's ahead of us and these have stayed out. These are still going on the same tyres that they boxed and then the safety car. And they're on the hards, they're trying to get them to the end. And those hard tyres are shot. They have definitely hit the cliff as we overtake Hamilton there, round spoon. And now we're on the back of Lance Stroll. Some tensions here after the incident in Singapore. But we're alongside and down the inside into 130R is job done. And now to get Miss Verstappen, we tried to send it late up the inside of the chicane. He was ready for that one. But look at the exit. You can see there in traction as we overtake then the Red Bull of Verstappen. And next up is George Russell in the Mercedes. Science still running by a mile and as we skip on to the final lap then 
Carlos Sainz rounds the final corner to win for the second time this season and Ferrari's second win since he won the opening race of the season. George is going to come home for P2 and we are going to get our first podium as Lamborghini Racing. Yes mate, I cannot complain about that one, that was an excellent drive, well done. Another action packed Japanese Grand Prix comes to an end then and a magnificent drive to take the win today. Tell me Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit, familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. So that's been your Japanese Grand Prix and what a race. We played the strategy, a strategic masterclass, I think you can call that. Sainz winning Ferrari's second race of the season, when he won in Bahrain all those races ago. George though, we just couldn't catch, we couldn't keep up with him. The gap, staying around three seconds, we just couldn't catch him in the end. So he's going to finish second, we finish third, we will take that. Fit of Audi, disappointing day for him, finishes in 16th. In to the championship and Lewis Hamilton continues to stretch his legs out front gains a couple of points then over Max Verstappen after as we mentioned last time out a battle that was very much going Verstappen's way earlier on this season the championship we have jumped some positions as well as now we have some healthy points on the board 46 to be exact and Fittipaldi has nine and that then has moved us up from 7th to 6th in the Constructors' Championship. So I will take that any day of the week. Very good job for us. Alpha Tauri, the only team still yet to score. It was a day of just surviving out there. And with that safety car, really early on, really kind of spice everything up. And the safety car helped us out as we get our first podium as a constructor. And hopefully it will be first of many. Next up though, we have another sprint as we go to Qatar for the very first time. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in Qatar. Goodbye.